What's up everybody? My name is Dr. Caleb and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you and please do consider subscribing to my channel so that you do not miss out when I do post more content here onwards. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much for your continued support. Anyway, what are we here for? As you've already seen in the title, I just want to share how I got to a thousand subscribers without a strategy. Let me start by saying one of the things that hindered me from creating content was actually comparison. When I'd see what others are doing and what I'm doing and I'll think to myself, okay, my stuff is not yet up to par. So maybe I should just pause a little bit. And if you just rewind and like take a look at my content, that's actually the time where I stopped posting much. Cause I feel like at that point I hadn't really learned the lesson that when it comes to content creating or anything in life rather, it's about sticking to your own lane. Other people are there not for comparison, but perhaps to inspire you to be better at what you do. Not to stop you from doing what you're supposed to do, which is something that almost happened with me. So yeah, I just learned that I shouldn't compare myself to other people, but just run my own race. Do everything at my own pace and to the level to which I've attained. Do what I can with what I have and learn my way to a better place. And because of that, I started posting a little more frequently and I actually started enjoying it. And I feel like when I started enjoying it, it ceased to be about the views or the likes that I'm getting or the number of subscribers that I have, but just about enjoying the journey and the creation process. And I feel like that's, it's very important for every content creator to get to that level to do it because you love it, not because you want to show face or... Of course, it's nice when you have a lot of subscribers and a lot of viewership because you are putting in the hard work, but primarily it shouldn't necessarily be about them. Like I said in one of my previous videos that I do what I do because I love it. I do what I do because there's a message God has put on my heart, you know? And everything that I do is to share that message. I shouldn't think too much about what's happening externally, but work on my internal, improve myself in the best way that I can and align myself to the will of God at all times so that I myself may not be found wanting at the end of the day, you know? So I've genuinely grown to enjoy this creative process and I'm really looking forward to doing more of this. One of the things that I want to do in 2024 is to really explore my passions and, and to really nurture the gifting that uh, I've been privileged to have. And I'm not just talking about in terms of content creation, but uh, I want to be very intentional, especially about the music side of my life. I That's one thing that I feel like I neglected quite a lot. And uh, <laughs> so I really need to pick up my slack from that and actually begin to improve in that regard because, hey, sh I genuinely love music, you know, and I feel everybody will share the same sentiment. Yeah, music is something that I genuinely, genuinely love. So I want to explore that and see how um, far we can go with that in 2024, you know, and I'm hoping that um, it'll also contribute to the growth of um, this channel and of course to how much of a blessing I am to you. So I'm hoping that at least every two weeks, every Wednesday, there'll be a worship Wednesday where I'll post one of the covers or perhaps an original song. I have actually quite a lot of songs that I've not released or that people have not heard. And I'm thinking that in 2024, it'll be time for me to actually begin to um, release some of that music. Um, whether it's at a professional level, at a ministerial level, or just on our worship Wednesdays, one of those, we'll see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to working through that. So thank you so much again for your continued support. I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. I hope you are too. If you haven't, please do consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. And also, I hope that you yourself are encouraged to stay in your lane, run your race the best way you can according to the capacity that God has given you at a present time and grow in that. At the end of the day, you'll be held accountable for what was in your hands, not what was in somebody else's, you know? So do the best that you can with what you have until you reach the fullest potential of those giftings. Um, so yeah, 
this is me i guess i'm done for today today is a much shorter video and i am rambling now anyway god bless y'all and i love you so much